Okay, so what I want to do in this video is I want to show you how to make a quest. Now, I can't guarantee you that it's going to work or that we're going to actually make a quest in this video. But I can tell you that it is a great chance that we will succeed because this is not the first time that I have done this. I have made a few kill quests. I've made one where you have to kill an NPC, retrieve an item, then return to the NPC. And then I've made one where you simply have to kill an NPC and then return to the person who gave you the quest. I've also had some uh, times where the NPC is already spawned. You kill them before the quest even starts. And then you just run back to the NPC and tell them, hey, wh whatever target you, want, you wanted me to kill or you was going to ask me to kill, I already killed them. Anyway, I really wanted to do this because I was looking up videos on how to do it. And I just really couldn't find anything. And everyone that I found, it was like really freaking long, probably because they're running their mouth like I'm doing right now. So let's go ahead and get into this. So, like I said, I really wanted to do this because I really want, you know, the community to get better. I really want everybody when they keep making these basic mods, I, I just want them to be better, you know. So let's do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the quest tab right here. And I'm going to use a lot of the knowledge that I have from Fallout when doing these Elder Scrolls things. All right. So we're going to right click in here. We're going to go to new. We're going to give um our quest a unique ID. So I'm going to go to AA um, tutorial kill quest. I'll give it that ID. Okay. And then um the quest name, I'll just put it. Screw it. Tutorial kill quest like that and then um i'm just gonna go what i do in fallout 3 priority 55 start game enabled and i'm just does this matter i'm going to hit okay okay then i'm gonna hit save make a backup of your plugin in case you messed anything up so the difference with the with the Skyrim creation kit and the Fallout creation kit is the dialogue that has everything to do with that quest is actually located within the quest itself. I actually don't think NPCs have a separate dialogue tab. The dialogue will just I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, don't forget what I'm saying right now. Anyway, we're just going to come over here to dialogue views and then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to create a new topic and we're going to call it um tutorial kill quest topic yeah we'll call it that okay so now in our tutorial kill kill quest topic uh we right click in the window and we're going to go to create branch and then uh it's going to give us something else so I'll, I'll type in tutorial kill quest prompt Tutorial kill quest prompt topic. Okay, whatever. All right. So here's our prompt. Here's our topic to prompt the quest. All right. So now we have to set some dialogue for it. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna right click in here. I'm gonna go to new. And the response text is going to be, yes, I need someone eliminated. So she will say, I need someone eliminated. And you will prompt her with, uh, I'm I'm looking for work. 
Have you got any? So when I say that, she will say, yes, I need someone eliminated. I'm not exactly sure what the topic text is for. Let's just. And then we'll, we'll go to conditions. We'll go to new. And then what we're going to do is gets ID. And then. We're going to select our NVC. That way she could be the only one that says this, because if you don't select her ID, then everybody in the world will have this dialogue and we don't want that. I can't even remember what the hell is her ID. <laughs> It was a a bimbo. Okay. All right. So that like that. And then what we'll do is. Um, I think we'll put a new condition. And we'll put get stage. We'll put get stage and then we'll put our kill quest if it's less than 10 that way we can only get this prompt if the kill quest is less than 10 if the kill quest hasn't started basically that's when that's the only time we can ask her for the kill quest um and i'm just going to hit okay for now I'll just put that for now I have no idea it's, it's throwing me off it's a bit confusing alright hopefully it doesn't crash okay yes I need some and then what we do is after after we put the topic right what we'll do is we're going to add some more topics to make it so that when she says yes I need someone eliminated we can say yes I'll do the quest and then the quest will start or we can say no I, I'm, I'm busy right now and then you know it won't start so I'm going to go to tutorial kill quest accept and I'm going to go to new again tutorial kill quest deny all right so now I'm going to go to ex accept quest and Hmm. I think I'm going to create a branch. No, I'm not. But double click on this. Oh my goodness. Uh Uh okay, tutorial Tutorial kill quest accept branch except branch top what the freak man all right okay I guess maybe I didn't even need to put it in here I guess I needed to right click in here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna right click in here I'm gonna hit new she's going to say Thank you. I will pay you upon your turn. If that's even proper dialogue. All right. And prompt I 
will take care of this target. Whatever. So I will take care of this target. Hanky. Wow, what the freak? Thank you. I will pay you upon your return. No, no. What the hell, uh, Gek? I mean, creation kit. Um, new prompt. Gets ID. My character. A bimbo. Boom. Okay. Yes. And I think I think that's okay. Uh kill quest except. I think this is just wait, what the heck? Nothing's in here letting me type. Okay, whatever then, screw it. Or is it here? Except tutorial kill quest one. Okay, whatever, whatever. Um. So this is the accept. This is the deny. So we're gonna fill in for the deny right now. A tutorial kill quest. Deny, 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 uh, topic, I guess. Deny topic, topic. Oh my goodness. Whatever. All right. So now what we're going to put in here is... Deny quest one. We'll just drop that right there. Then we'll right click in here. Um, and we'll put. Well, we'll come back if you change your mind. So come back if you change your mind. And, uh, for us, our prompt will say, I'm busy. I'm busy right now. So we'll say, I'm busy right now. And we'll come back as soon as you can. And we'll put goodbye. So it'll close out the dialogue. And we'll go to OK. I also want to make it. Oh, what's going on here? All right. Make sure I put the conditions. Did I put the conditions? I didn't. Alright, make sure that your NPCs. The proper condition is there. Alright. Bam. Bam. And we're going to hit OK. And... Okay, I think that's good. And now, um, from here, I think we need to link those. Let me see if I could remember how to do that. Oh yeah, branch. So now branch, we're going to go to add link. And we're going to go to our accept and deny. We're going to select both of these. Go to okay. This way, when we says, I'm, I'm looking for work. Have you got any? Um, she's going to say, yes, I need someone eliminated. And then after she says that, it'll take us to these topics right here where we can accept the quest or deny it. All right. So, oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to go to accept again real quick because I just want to make sure that the goodbye is checked so that once I accept this quest, 
Okay, the dialogue will close. It just feels... You don't have to do it, but it just feels better to me. I like it better that way. Um, And then in this window right here, you have... So it's it's going to kind of like show your 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 dialogue and then it's going to have like the the linking uh things connect to it. So these are what's linked to it, which is like our deny topic and our um and our accept target. You want to kind of put this in a way where it's easier to to understand. So I kind of like to put the main prompt on the top and then I'll put like the 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 more likely answer, which is you to accept the quest. I'll put that on top and the least likely answer, which is the deny. I'll put that at the bottom. And yeah, you can see like there's these arrow things. You could grab these. Like, oh my goodness, it it gets a little confusing. I really I forgot how to do this, honestly, links. Except, didn't I? I know this is a horrible tutorial, but you know what? Nobody else is doing it. And if I don't save you guys, we're going to be stuck with those basic standalone followers. At least if you're going to make them standalone followers, at least add some kill quests with them. I would be very happy. I would be very proud of you guys. All right, so whatever. We know what the heck these means. I, I need to look up how to fix this. My goodness. I think this was so unnecessary, by the way, uh, Bethesda. So, um, yeah, our prompt, our accept, and our deny. And then what we're going to do is after we have those, um, we're actually going to save it first. Let's save it. And then we're, we're going to go back into our kill quest. So, let's go back in here. Where the heck, what did I do? What did I just do? All right, so we're gonna go back in here, and now we're gonna do the we're gonna do the quest stages. Uh, so you have to kind of like know what you're gonna do. So I like to do these by the ten. So ten is stage one, twenty is stage two, thirty is stage three. You know, so on, so on. So when we accept the quest, the quest stage is gonna be set to ten, which is stage one. Stage one is we need to go kill the NPC, all right? So that's going to be the first thing that we do. So we're going to set 10, and then we're going to go to 20. Is The stage will be set to 20 after we kill the NPC, okay? And and stage 20 will be that we return to the, the NPC, all right? I, 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 the, the quest giver after the kill target has been killed. And then when we turn, when we talk to that quest giver, right, she's going to have a prompt that a dialogue that only appears when this quest stage is 20, which will basically be the dialogue in which you tell her that the, the kill target is dead. And then once you tell her that it will set the stage to 30. And when the stage is 30, it will actually complete our quest. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I think I could just fill these in with new for now. And yeah, I'll just put this quest stage to 30 complete. All right. Now, normally I could tell you exactly the freaking result scripts that you're supposed to type right here, but I actually have to go look them up real quick because it's different from Fallout.